Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech and Android 11 Developer Preview 2 is now out to all supported Pixel devices. So that means Pixel 2 all the way to Pixel 4 and 4XL. But this is a developer preview and not recommended for regular use. In fact, just setting this wallpaper actually made the device crash. So this is not meant for everyday daily use. But there are some changes in this and there will be a beta for this a little bit later that will be available to the public. So I would wait for that. Now, the first thing is the build number. If we take a look at the build number, you'll see it's Android R RPP2200. 227.009. And this update brings some interesting changes throughout the OS. And the first one is the Easter egg is back. So if you go into settings, go into the Android version number, and then we just keep tapping on Android R and it shows Android 10. So they haven't updated the Easter egg, but it's back. Now settings shows new Wi-Fi at the top. So it shows Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices. So that's something new. They've just changed where it is. It's permanent. It doesn't move. Now they've also added the addition of requiring your eyes to be open. If you want to set that setting on or off for a pixel four or four XL with the face unlock. So if I go down to security and then I go to face unlock, I'll put in my pin. Now you can see it says require eyes to be open to unlock the phone. And I have tried this. I turned the phone off, turned it back on, kept my eyes closed. It didn't unlock until I opened my eyes. And so it seems to work just fine. So that's nice that they've added this. And this may be coming to potentially the April security update for Pixel devices and Samsung phones and things like that. So expect that probably sooner rather than later, but who knows at this point, it may not come out until Android 11 releases. Now notifications get a lot of changes and you can see the first notification here at the top. And before I talk about those changes, you can see the font is a little bit bigger and the spacing is a little bit different. It's sort of transparent or slightly transparent through the different separated notifications. And I like how they've separated this a little bit better. So this looks a lot better to me than it did previously. And you can see here's a, a conversation I just started from my other phone. I messaged myself and we have a couple options. And one of the options I've already turned on is when do not disturb is on, it will still show my conversation if I select that option. So if I press and hold, I have some options and let me show you what I mean. And you can see there was some bugs. So do not disturb was on. I tried to press and hold. It didn't work. But after I press and hold, you've got some options. So I can flag this as important now. So I can tap on this flag. It is important. And then I can go into settings within settings. I've got some options. If I tap on my phone number at the bottom, it says not a conversation and I can remove this from the conversation and you can add it back later. Now let's go back one menu. And then if I tap on incoming messages down at the bottom, tap on advanced. And you'll see it says override do not disturb and that's what's turned on currently so you can make this one specific conversation overridden over all of the other things so maybe you want do not disturb turned on but you want to get important information from your significant other or a family member you can do that in android 11 developer preview too now there's one other option in here as well and let's go back we'll go into settings and i'll show you how to get there you go to settings and then you go to apps and notifications you go to notifications, then you go down to advanced under advanced. You now have the option to hide silent notifications in the status bar. So if you've already silenced the notification, it won't show up in the status bar on top. So you have that as a new option as well. Now, another change they've made to the notification shade is there's a history button. So you can go into this and it's turned off by default but we'll go into this. And if you turn it on, you can see your history of messages and recently dismissed. If we scroll down, you can see what we have today that we installed. So I actually had to set this up. It wipes the device. So you have to reset up everything and you can see all of the different notifications. So that's a new addition. You can turn it off. Like I said, now they've updated the wallpaper picker to be a little bit nicer to use. So let's go into that, press and hold the home screen, go to styles and wallpapers, and you'll see it looks a little bit different than what you might be familiar with. So now we have my photos and come alive and living universe, and they're, they're grouped into different squares. So if we go into come alive, for example, you can select what you want to use. If we go into expand your collection, you can download this if you don't have it, or you can go into say, this one here, the doodle, customize the different colors, set the wallpaper and 
it'll be a nice, just a better way to kind of see the wallpapers in general. Now we also have this clock section on the bottom, and this looks like we're going to be able to customize the lock screen, but the only thing there right now is a clock. So maybe we'll have different clocks for the home screen later on as people update this developers update it with maybe some widgets or something along those lines. But right now that's all there is and there's not much going on with it. Now there's a little update to the volume section. So if I press volume down or volume up and go to the more section here, you can see that they've condensed this section so that it's a little bit smaller and reachable with one hand. And so you can see ring and notification volume is condensed into one slider instead of multiple sliders. So it's just a little bit different. I think it's a little bit better, easier to reach with one hand. So they've updated that as well. They've also updated accessibility so you can access it from the lock screen. So if we go into settings again, and then we go to accessibility here, we go down to, well, let's find it here, advanced, and then allow from lock screen. You can see it says when the shortcut is on, you can press both volume keys for three seconds to start an accessibility feature. Now, if I go to the lock screen, press and hold volume up and volume down, it turns on accessibility and you'll hear talk back. So we'll swipe to open. Scanning device unlocked. Fix a launcher. So you can see once I push volume, you've got accessibility as well. If I press and hold both, it turns back off. So you have that option now if you have it set. It's just a nice little addition from the lock screen. Now they've updated screen recording with a proper user interface. So if I go into my quick settings, you'll see it says screen record. Now if you're not seeing this, you can edit your quick settings with this little pencil here and just update it. It's usually in there. And once you press screen record, you now have a nice user interface and it will record audio with the microphone. So you can turn that on, hit start, and you'll see it count down in the upper right. And now it's screen recording. So it vibrated to let me know it's screen recording. I can swipe right or left, go into the app launcher, and then go here, tap to stop my screen recording. And now I have the screen recording and I can go into this. We'll open it with photos, I suppose. Now it works fine, but the audio quality is not so great. So hopefully they improve that since the microphone on the pixel is actually pretty good. Now there's a few updates within settings. So if we go to settings here and then we go to security, then we scroll down to advanced under advanced at the bottom is confirm SIM deletion. Verify it's you before erasing a downloaded SIM. So we now have that. We can turn that on uh, as a new option for security, which is really nice. And then also there's a couple new things within the developer options. So let's go over to developer options. Now in developer options, if we scroll down to where we have USB debugging, we now have wireless debugging. So we can turn that on and use this over the wireless network, it makes it a little bit easier without a cable. There's also an update to show different display types if you develop for them. Now you'll see display cutout, and we now have the option for waterfall cutout. So if you have a waterfall display similar to a Samsung S10, for example, where it folds over the edge a little bit, now you can see where everything's centered if you're developing for that. We'll just go back, go back to device cutout as default, and it goes back to normal. And that's it for Android 11 Developer Preview 2. That's everything within this, every major change. There have been a few things found in the code as far as possible changes in the future to different UI and things like that. But right now, that's everything you can physically see. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've found anything else, I'd love to hear from you as well. And again, make sure you wait for the beta if you're running this on your daily driver because it's not so stable. So just setting this wallpaper crashed my device three times. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.